challenge. Here we go. And they're off for this, the Coral Adonis Juvenile Hurdle and Sarsons Risk in the light blue jacket on the inside of the Churchill Lad and out wider is Rare Middleton. They're tracked in the bright yellow by Perseus Way. Maroon sleeves of Spartan Army. Red with the yellow cap on the inside is Scriptwriter at flight number one. They're all safely over at the Bat Power Puri and Nuzret as they head on now towards flight number two. And then they'll pass the stairs with a circuit to go. And it's Sarsons Risk out in front from the Churchill Lad. Sarsons Risk by a couple of lengths to the Churchill Lad. Then Perseus Way followed by Rare Middleton, Spartan Army on the outside of Scriptwriter, right up the inside there in the hands of Paddy Brennan, followed by Power Puri, and at the back is Nuzret and Daryl Jacob in the double green jacket. About to swing right-handed away from the stands, and Sarsons Risk setting a fairly honest-looking pace here from... In second, the Churchill lad got a little warm before the race. Then on the inside, Perseus Way of Rare Middleton. Spartan Army is fifth. Scriptwriter is sixth, followed by Power Puri, the newcomer, and Nuzret at the tail of the field. Two flights of hurdles to jump on this part of the course. They head on to flight number three and Sarsons Risk on the inside of the Churchill lad, who made a slight mistake there. Then Perseus Way and Rare Middleton. Spartan Army, Power Puri moving up a shade on the outside of Scriptwriter, jumping flight four. And behind those is Nuzret at the back of the field, who'd be a good 10 or 12 lengths behind this leader. So they're quite well strung out as they turn towards the back straight now. And Sarsons Risk and Robbie Dunn out in front from the Churchill lad. Tracked by Perseus Way in third under Jamie Moore. Then Rare Middleton, a couple of lengths or so back to Scriptwriter on the inside of Spartan Army, Power Puri, and Nuzret. Two flights down the back straight to take. They've got four left to jump overall. And still Sarsons Risk with Churchill Lad moving up closer on the outside. Sarsons Risk from the Churchill Lad. Stride for stride going towards this next flight of hurdles. Sarsons Risk just landing in front from the Churchill Lad. Perseus Way in third. Then uh, behind these is Rare Middleton. Middleton on the inside is Scriptwriter. Then Spartan Army, just given a little bump along for a couple of strides from Nuzret. And on the outside is the Philly Power Puri. On towards three out, Sarsons Risk from the Churchill Lad as they take this one. And Sarsons Risk has gone there and caused a fair amount of chaos. Perseus Way, hampered scriptwriter, wasn't done too many favours. Perseus Way has overcome that inconvenience to go on into the lead now under Jamie Moore with Power Puri moving up on the outside. Then the Churchill Lad followed in behind these by Scriptwriter locked away on the inside. Rare Middleton wider, Nuzret and Spartan Army as they head on now towards the home straight and it's Perseus Way that leads the way. Two lengths clear. Power Puri in second place. Under pressure now is Scriptwriter on the inside. Rare Middleton going a bit better. And then Nuzret, who's making ground from the rear of the field and begins to look quite dangerous. Heading down to the second last. Perseus Way with a three or four length lead. Perseus Way got in a bit tight. Nuzret is making ground relentlessly on the outside. Then Rare Middleton followed then by Power Puri. Scriptwriter very disappointing. Perseus Way maintaining the gallop, maintaining the margin over Nuzret at the final. Final flight, oh, Percy's way. He got it all wrong, and Nuzret inherits the lead. And it's Nuzret that goes on from Percy's way. And Nuzret, well beaten by a couple of juveniles in Ireland in his last two starts, is going to beat the Brits here. And Nuzret wins the Adonis from Percy's way. They're well clear of Rare Middleton in third and Power Puri in fourth. Yeah, we're going to walk in with Daryl Jacob. Nuzret was, he was really good. What happened at three from when the horse fell in front? He done well. <laughs> To be honest with you, I didn't really see what was going on. I was, I was just concentrating on my horse, and then at the back of it, then I seen Paddy's duck left, and I think it was Harry Cobden's duck one way. And to be fair, my horse was very good. He just seemed to to sidestep it all. He was good at Punterstown. It's, it's it's good to get come over here and get a gauge. And I think the horses over the RAC are a lot stronger. All the juveniles that have ridden in Ireland yeah. um, and England, the form of them is very very strong. Um, I was in the Dublin Racing Festival, and the juvenile there was was very very good um, they seem to have a very very good team over there so uh, yeah. yeah we'll just let them walk past this um, 
Bristol Dubai, you, you lost in the retirement this week, but you've enjoyed this season, haven't you? Going over the uh, over the RIC and over to Ireland and riding some big winners now. It's great. Oh, I've had a great year. Um, you know, fantastic year over here and an even better year over in Ireland. Look, it's a it's a new sort of role that that I'm love, love, loving doing and look at I just love getting on horses and watching them mm. progress and get bigger and stronger as the year goes and um, you know they've got so much uh, ammunition over there um, you know it's brilliant just to be a small part of it. He'll be a good ride in the Boodles won't he? Please God look he's a lovely horse I've always talked an awful lot of him um, and I just think he's still very very green and I think there's please God there's a, there's a lot more to come from. Well done. Cheers mate. Watch live racing now on racingtv.com.